In today's episode, we'll go through 13 benefits to taking vitamin D. Let's get into it. Vitamin D is known as the sunshine vitamin because about 90% of our vitamin D comes from the sun. Number one, bone health. Most of us know of vitamin D and its importance in bone health. Vitamin D is needed for calcium absorption, which is important for strong bones. It is also important for bone mineralization. Bone mineralization is a process where minerals are added into the bone matrix. This is required for the hardness strength of bones. Without vitamin D to help absorb calcium in the body, you can get a condition called rickets in children or osteomalacia in adults, which is when the bones go soft and weak. Number two, muscles. Vitamin D helps with muscle contractions and muscle recovery. Recently, there was a study following over 3,000 people over four years, where they measured their vitamin D levels and muscle strength. This study showed in those with a vitamin D deficiency, there was a 70% increased risk of developing a condition called dinopenia, which is an age-related loss in muscle strength. Number three, immunity. Vitamin D receptors are found in many cells in the immune system. There is found to be a link between vitamin D deficiencies and increased risk of infections and autoimmune diseases. Number four, multiple sclerosis. Autoimmune diseases such as multiple sclerosis happen when the body attacks itself. Studies have shown that the further away you are from the equator, the higher the risk of developing MS, which also correlates with the amount of vitamin D we receive from the sun. Number five, cardiovascular health. There's been shown to be a link between vitamin D deficiency and increased risk of heart disease. In the D-Health trial, a recent randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial in Australia involving over 21,000 participants over five years, they concluded that vitamin D supplementation might reduce the incidence of major cardiovascular events, although the absolute risk difference was small. They found that there may have been more of an effect in those already taking statins or cardiovascular medications. Number six, mood. Similarly to heart disease, there has been found to be a link between vitamin D deficiency and depression. We all know that going outside can do wonders for your mood. However, the studies are yet to show that vitamin D supplementation is beneficial in reducing depression. Number seven, COVID. There's been a lot of controversial talk about vitamin D supplements protecting against COVID-19. In this study, they found that there was a decreased risk of death and ICU admissions in those taking vitamin D supplementation. The evidence seems to be pointing in the direction of vitamin D supplementation to decrease severity of COVID-19. Number eight, respiratory infections. Now, before COVID-19 even existed, there were already studies that showed that vitamin D supplements helped to reduce the risk of lower respiratory tract infections, such as bronchitis and pneumonia. For example, in this study in Ethiopia, the incidence of rickets was found to be 13 times higher in those hospitalized with pneumonia. And as I mentioned at the start, rickets occurs when you have vitamin D deficiency. Number nine, diabetes. There's been shown to be an association with low vitamin D levels and an increased risk of type two diabetes. In this 2023 analysis consisting of 46 randomized controlled trials, it was concluded that vitamin D supplementation may be beneficial in reducing fasting plasma glucose, HbA1 and HOMA IR, which estimates insulin resistance. This was particularly when vitamin D was given in large doses over a short period of time. Number 10, sleep. There is increasing evidence that vitamin D deficiency may be related to difficulty sleeping, more night awakenings, and shorter sleep durations. There is even some suggestion that taking vitamin D supplements when you're deficient, as well as melatonin, may help to avoid high doses and long-term treatment courses in chronic insomnia. So if you're having trouble sleeping, it may be worth looking at your vitamin D levels. Number 11, cancer. It's been found that people who live in sunny areas in general have a lower incidence of cancer than those who live in areas with less sun. Lab and Animal studies have found that vitamin D has some anti-cancer properties and can slow down tumor progressions. There was a recent trial called the VITAL trial, which looked at over 25,000 people. It was concluded from this trial that there wasn't a decreased risk of cancer. However, it showed signs of a decreased risk of death from cancer. Number 12, dementia. Dementia generally happens to some of us as we get older and is a general term to describe symptoms associated with memory loss and the loss of ability to think. In a recent analysis, vitamin D exposure was found to be associated with a 40% reduced risk of dementia. There is some evidence that taking vitamin D supplements if you're low in vitamin D can help to improve your testosterone levels. So there you have it, 13 reasons why you should consider getting your vitamin D levels checked. If you found anything useful in this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.